one where they just like you know they just like beat up all the teachers. And then uh, one his, the fun one that we found was that a lot of college students in town were aware of this website. It was a specific pipeline system of software where you create a unique password for it. It was if this fails, then do this. If this works, then do this and this. But if you fail to erase the whole failure, you know you could end up in a situation where some students further down the pipeline were not being met. Some Finally, our big one that we try to have as as possible is our spin rate test. And anybody can use this spin rate test. It's the same. Uh, it's, it's in the lead development. It should not be in uh, deployment yet. Uh, similarly, you can use like firmware pumps or something that can have a, uh, uh, an entire raw source code that you can stuff into firmware and have it be like a spin rate test. You can run a whole build system. Get all the files in the directory, compose all the code from it, and you know also in this thing it's even harder to get passwords and things into there with tests because they end up being stuck in the system. So what's the system? Well, from the best perspective of a cloud provider, you're seeing a uh, you're seeing where the next you know they have their device, they want to pull up some information on it, run some tests, and then they want to ensure that the end user interface on both sides is something that they can trust. They want to manage all their devices. Load in their status, their date, and all of that. And they also need to maintain key management for all of their devices so that if they get you know, like compromised, that they need to get key updates and key rollbacks. And finally, they might want to debug systems. They generally aren't serious about, or they they generally aren't going to manually plug in their data and then you know do things like that. So that that interface is kind of questionable for them. They they don't want to commit to that in the most basic sense. Whereas from the supplier perspective, you're looking at like, is your end user trust? Is the instrument that you choose, are they secure? Uh, does the device state correctly update itself from what, does the device state reflect before it correctly matches the device actual data? Do you have certain issues? How is that data getting there? Um, do you have a you know, trust execution mode where it will user space code, you know, your RC button will take some time and memory in your, you know, using debug mode, you know, you might have to get five or hardware up yourself. Is your boot doing things correctly? And uh, similarly, you know, other components, how are they doing their data and their you know, performance data and things like that? So really, based on this current model, there's a massive disconnect between the developers and the providers and the cloud service providers and the and validation providers and then internal internal sort of security. Um, but the, they're kind of mysterious considering they're, they're the ones that pay for the security breaches, but they, they barely mitigate the bug. And so we as IOI systems, we kind of provide a service for both sides. We just kind of test on devices. We also test the infrastructure to make sure things work as expected. Um, going forward, we think that some big things that you know, the way our processes are currently not being handled is very opaque and unreliable. Um, tooling is very lacking in this space. We don't have a clear set of open source tools that can be used to ensure that our devices are reliable. And uh, you know, vulnerabilities are more complicated than you know, you'd expect because the, the scope and limit is also pretty big. So for iOS is we perform all of the services. So we do you know, testing, um, service analysis, and debugging. And we are interested in meeting with you and doing things to the best of our ability. Thank you for your time.